guys, welcome back to uh, Panzer Guns and Ammo. Today we're going to talk about my Beretta CX4 Storm. Um, this uh, super awesome prohibited carbine. Just say what? Prohibited? No, it can't be. Two days ago it was non restricted. What happened? Alright, guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's uh, clear, unloaded, awesome carabine. So, what happened, guys? Literally two days ago, this was still an unrestricted rifle, and two, like just out of the blue like that, boom! It's banned in Canada. You can't buy it, you can't shoot it, can't do anything. It's prohibited. The government just uh, decided where uh, they're going to be prohibiting and confiscating over um, two hundred fifty thousand firearms in Canada. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. My heart is with all the big Tim uh, in Nova Scotia. And I'm not going to pretend to offer some opinion on how the government does its business or whatever else, but as a, a um, uh, gun enthusiast, uh, and uh, I legally bought this firearm, and like every other law-abiding citizen in this country that enjoy um, firearms, uh, I would very much like to keep my nice Beretta and keep enjoying it at the range. Um, I'm sure like everybody else that their firearms are going to be uh, confiscated or buy back or whatever else. So I would like to warn every viewer that is that are in Canada if you guys own any ARs slash uh, models, CZ, Berettas, uh, Storm models, all of these weapons have been uh, banned and confis uh, um, prohibited uh, starting yesterday which was Friday the 1st of May so uh, if you do own one of them weapon you can't sell it you can't shoot it you can't do anything at this moment um, Canada apparently is gonna come up with a uh, buyback program uh, in the next two years um, to maybe get those weapons back so I don't know I wait and see this was very sudden um, there was uh, it happened during the pandemic so I think there's going to be some lashback from a f quite a few organizations. Uh, I mean, without giving my own opinion in this matter for a different reason, I'm just going to go ahead and say a few, uh, a few facts here that, uh, you know, there was a, a survey in 2012 from uh, Statistic Canada, and it was proven that less than 5% of the firearms were used in homicide uh, had ever been registered. Um, <sighs> and by doing this, huge buyback program we're going to be spending billions uh, of dollars trying to identify the unrestricted owners and confiscating those uh, weapons and then storing them and then buying back those weapons so um so i'm not too sure how this is actually going to play out um and if this is going to be a positive outcome uh, in the end right to try to reduce all those violent crime which <laughs> are mostly committed with uh, illegally obtained firearms in the first place uh, so I'm not sure how confiscating law-abiding citizen firearms is going to solve any problem um, and uh, also we have the fact that uh, in New Zealand in 2019 they did uh, ban the you know semi-automatic military style weapons so we have a good idea of how much um, this will probably cost or cost for them so we can extrapolate here and that's where my billion is coming coming out right so um, personally and like a lot of other people I think this money would be much more uh, well suited to fight crime and to fight uh, illegally um, legal weapon coming into Canada versus confiscating the weapon of people that don't commit crimes but uh, I mean future future will tell now this is uh, in effect now like I said but there's a, a two-year amnesty uh, for the current owners um, before we uh, we know what happened and because of the pandemic also uh, the government has said that more details going to come out uh, in the future uh, weeks or month uh, regarding this whole uh, program right now we do have a list of all the uh, the weapons that are all the weapons that were uh, banned uh, at a, as of this moment which are i think 900 and some of them are mostly ar version or ar uh, modification or receivers um, and then other models like my nice Beretta 
So, all right, guys, uh, this was just uh, a little quick update on one of my uh, firearms, which uh, sadly won't be able to show any uh, more range footage for the next little while until we know exactly what happens. Hopefully, I get grandfather with a prohibited license and I can keep it. Um, but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. Otherwise, well, if the government buys it back, uh, I'll go buy another, another one. So, <laughs> eh. All right, so this is uh, Pinsir Guns and Ammo uh, signing off today. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.